So welcome everyone to this client testimonial with one of my friends and brothers from Men's in a Mastery Academy, Carl Griffin. Thank you for joining us, brother. Doing a bit of a Hi, uh, testimonial for us, mate. Um, good to see you, mate. You okay? Yeah, all good. Thank you, brother. Um, okay, then, mate. What I'd like to ask Carl is, you know, just getting straight into it, really, with the specifics of. You know, why you joined Men's Inner Mastery Academy and what were the challenges that you felt like you were facing before joining? Uh, to be honest, Paul, when I first started off, I'd had, an, uh, I'd had a few years of uh, ups and downs, um, some more severe than others. Mm. Um, I had health issues, a um, few pretty serious ones. I had um, relationship issues and... Um, Sometimes even issues just getting out of bed in the morning, mate. Mm. But uh, I tried, I tried little things in the past. I'd looked into things. I'd, I'd read up quite a lot, um, so I had some idea of what I was getting into, but not to the depth of what we got into things. Um, mm. I'd been and seen, I'd been and sat with therapists, and even though it was good to try and gather my thoughts, it just didn't really seem to get get what I needed to get out of it. So. Um, when I first uh, seen you and um, what you were doing, I felt something straight away that it was going to be um, a different path and it's uh, it's paying off. Yeah, brilliant, brother. Boss. Um, so what would you say, Carl, is like, you know, the biggest thing, if you like, that's changed since joining Men's in a Mastery Academy? Obviously, you know, the most enjoyable bits, if you like, you know, from being part of, you know, what I think, mate, is a, a group of high performing and ambitious men who are all uh, working towards similar goals, if you like, but helping each other. Um, and the laughs that we have together in that group. You know, what what do you feel has been the biggest change for you individually? And also, you know, the importance of being part of, of a group life, uh, the one you're in. Uh, biggest changes, mate. I just I think I just I feel a lot more centered when I um, when issues come up. I've got the tools now to deal with them, um, just from a better place. I'm, I'm less reactive, more aware of emotions, more of a, and, and when these emotions come up, not denying them, like knowing how to deal with them and, and sitting with them sometimes, and mm. just feel like it gets me through things a lot better. There's no, um, you know, we, we we all get angry, don't we? We all get a cob on, we all get upset, we all feel sad, we all feel down at times. Mm. But just learning that we don't have to sit there and dwell or sit in that same in that same emotion for a extended periods of time. Uh, I think learning how to deal with things being a massive, massive thing for me. Like I say, when I'd spoke with other people in the past, it was understanding that things have happened, understanding why things have happened, but still not necessarily dealing with them. So learning how to deal with these things has been massive for me. And it's funny, isn't it? Because there's probably, what, 20, 30 lads that we sit there and if I'd have sat there in that room before we'd, we'd started this journey, there's probably not many of the lads who I would say, oh, yeah, he's, he's you know, someone that I probably didn't relate to at the time. And every single one of the fellas, I think we all relate to each other. And it's not because we're from different backgrounds, because we're all from the same place, not because we're from the same backgrounds, because there's so many people, especially in this city, who are, um, who've got similar upbringings to what we had similar social lives all growing up around the same thing but just so different and I think uh, the, the different types of men that came into the group like I said probably wouldn't have put myself in that circle definitely wouldn't have put myself in that circle and now I feel like it's something I belong to more than more than most things in my life mm. um, and I love like we just have a ball don't we we just have a really good laugh all the time even though it's serious work there's just a really good group of lads and it's, it just doesn't never feel like there's any pressure. It just, at first, stepping into it, it's a massive thing, isn't it? Yeah. And probably feeling a bit anxious about it, but when we sit down and we get into it, it, it never feels like there's any pressure and it and it just feels natural, which if you'd have told me five years ago that I'd be thinking like something like that was natural, I uh, laughed in your face and you probably would have never spoke to me again. Mm. But... Uh, but yeah, it 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 is, mate. It's just such a comfortable place to be with all the lads. They are, they are all the salt of the earth, and they're all pushing in the right direction, pushing for things that they want. Might not even be on the same path as the same things that we want. Most of us probably aren't, but we're all pushing together, and it's uh, just a great group of lads, and I love it. Love being in it. Mm. Right. Oh, brilliant, mate. 
Yeah, you've been on some journey, mate, the past few years, haven't you? No, it's um, right, yeah. so obviously looking at, you know, the areas that, that it's helped in your life, Carl, as well as helping you to deal with emotions and, you know, deal with your own self-understanding. Do you feel it's helped you in any other areas of your life in terms of how you're showing up? And um, whether that be in business, whether that be in relationship, whether that be, you know, as a father, um, you know, as it as it benefited other areas, do you feel? Yeah, do, do you know what, mate? It's a good question, isn't it? Because we speak a lot, don't we, about getting balance in our life and we all know what's important to us. We all know our family, our friends, our career is all important to us. I think we don't all realise how important our wellness is, our own personal wellness. But uh, once you do realise these things and then you, you realise that you are imbalanced in some places, it makes you... Well, it, especially with me anyway, that's what I've, I've found is that it makes me search for a balance, you know, trying to make sure that there's balance. Like, there's not any other option. You, you know, I'm now, now dealing with that, living like that. There's never a time where... I'm not present when when I'm with my daughter, when I'm with me when I'm with my friends. If I've if I've set time aside where I've I've set time aside to be with that person, then mm. they're getting me time, which wasn't always the case. So yeah, it's it's massively affected me everywhere, mate. I think we first started speaking about that kind of thing when it came with regards to work. And it was like, well, try and try and set your day into like little sections, and once you're in that section, work on that and, and don't let your mind wander to something else. And I think I've like tried to get my whole life into that kind of balance now where if I'm in with something, then I'm fully in. And it's uh, mm. it's massively helping me. And you know, you know, you know yourself, mate, nobody's perfect. And you know, we might not be a hundred percent percent all day every day, but one thing it's taught me is to realise when you're not and get yourself back into it as quickly as possible. So it's not about winning every single minute of every single day. I just feel like when you do feel like you're falling off and you're possibly not going to win that minute, you realise quickly and you get yourself back on track. Mm. Uh, I think that's been a, a massive thing for me. So yeah, yeah. Across, across, all, across all the different parts of my life, I think even if I'm only 60% of the way there, I'm definitely showing up better than I was in every part. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant, mate. Um, because you know, you know what it was like. Well, I certainly know what it was like when I started my own self development journey. You know, you know what it was like for you. Um, every man that steps into it of your life, it's, there's definitely it's a big step in a man's life. It can be fearful. It can be a little bit scary. You sort of stepping into the unknown. You're stepping into the uncomfortable. Um, you know, so it is. It, it, it's a brave move for any man and a bold move by stepping into this work. Um, so, you know, with, with that being said, Carl, you know, what would you say to, to any man who, you know, is watching, who's maybe sitting on the fence, who's intrigued by men's work, but just maybe hasn't found the courage yet or hasn't found, you know, the belief or is ready to take that bold step and he's just sort of sitting on the fence toying with the idea. Um, what would you say to that man right now, mate, who's, you know, thinking about joining men's in a master academy? take action basically uh, you're right mate it is it, it does you do need to shake off that fear sometimes and it is brave and you know what mate <laughs> you still get that little feel of anxiety but the second you're in it you're back to comfortable you know what 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 do you do in life that that you don't feel anxious about or feel a little bit nervous about if, you, if you're feeling comfortable like that you're in the wrong place aren't you? you need to feel that little bit of discomfort sometimes and it pushes you forward but the one thing I'll say is that discomfort's not real until you, when you get in the group. It's it's the it's the fear of it, isn't it? It's the fear of uh, taking that step, like we all have with yeah. anything. You know, going for a new job, you know, starting a new relationship, driving a, a new car. You know, any, any step that you want to take that's different. There's there's fear involved, isn't it? You know, the, the, that's just natural. But we all know that the fear is just it's, it's not real, is it? Does the fear is yeah. not real? It, you know, you're. Uh, I'm definitely guilty for overthinking, and uh, but that's one thing I would say to people: just take the step, just just take action, and get get involved, and you'll never regret it. It's, it's an uh, no matter what you you will be, you'll make yourself a better person. I, I don't think there's a sing, single fella in that group who's not better. Yeah. Even though the fellas who are lovely fellas when they've they've started, they're the better than than what they were. No matter what, just by joining it and by taking that step, you, you're taking action, and it's a big thing, and it's it feels good doing it. 
Mm. Yeah, it's 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 a good feeling to just be a part of something where you know it's a good thing. It's moving the right in the right direction. It's something that there's nothing else like this, is there? There's nothing else out there. This this is where it is. This is what's moving going to move men forward. Yeah. So uh, I definitely I definitely appreciate being a part of this group. Mm. Yeah, it's not that simple, mate. To um to find the depth of man, maybe, and you know the men that are pushing each other to to them limits. It's not that easy to to find that, mate. In the world, and you know the group of men that we've got, like I say, it's it's a very special group of men, mate. And um, you know it it takes you, you know something I'm big on, Carl. You know, we're speaking about the type of man it takes. It takes a special type of man to do this work, um, because you've got to be ready. You've got to go. You've got to go in, and um, you've got to go all in on yourself, and um, you've got to be willing to, to you know want to change more than you're scared of the fear. Um, and when you get to that tipping point, you know I I call it. That's when um, real change begins to happen in your life, brother. So, um, yeah, just a massive, massive thank you, mate, for, um, for coming on and having no, a little chat you, with Paul. this car. No, uh, thank you, mate. You're right what you're saying. And, you know, for all the fear and all the everything that you think could possibly be a negative, like, you know, I don't know what you could think of it as a negative to join up. But no matter what, we might have that bit of anxiety. But if you can't commit to yourself... What can you commit to? And that's all we're doing is we're committing to ourselves to say that we're important and that our future is going to be a good one. Mm. So yeah, to me, it's commit and just get just get stuck in. Just yeah. go for it. Boss Carl, thank you so much, mate, for taking the time. I appreciate it, mate. Yeah, thank you. Brilliant, brother. Um, so yeah, I'm going to call it there, brother. Obviously, thank yeah. you for taking the time. And uh, I will see you very soon, brother, yeah. Yeah, see you soon. Thanks for that, Paul. Thank you, brother. Thanks to that, mate. Bye. Bye, mate.